In this video series, we'll be installing Rockwell Cavity Rock and a variety of cladding attachment systems. In this specific video, we'll feature Rockwell Cavity Rock installed with the Cascadia Clip. The Cascadia Clip is a pulse rooted fiberglass spacer designed to reduce thermal bridging through the exterior insulation and can be installed to support vertical or horizontal girts. Step 1. Measure spacing. The first step when installing any cladding attachment system is to measure and mark out the attachment spacing to make sure you fasten to the steel stud structure. Step 2. Attach the clips. Attach the Cascadia clips to the girts at the required spacing, which is typically 24 inches on center or per the structural requirements of the cladding. Step 3. Fasten clips and girts to the wall. Place the clips and girt against the wall and fasten. Ensure the cladding attachments are plumb and properly spaced as you continue to install the fasteners in the remaining clips. Step 4. Install your temporary insulation retention fasteners to the wall at regular intervals. This is done prior to installing the permanent mechanical insulation attachments. Step 5. Install the Rockwell Cavity Rock insulation. My stick pins are set. Begin by fitting one side of the Rockwell Cavity Rock behind the unfastened leg of the Z girt. As I go along, I simply make a little relief cut across here to expand out in between the clips. Ensure that each board fits snug around the cladding attachments and between the girts. It is important that there are no voids or gaps in the insulation in order to maintain thermal barrier continuity. We've now featured the vertical installation. For a horizontal installation, follow this process. Measure spacing. The first step when installing any cladding attachment system is to measure and mark out the attachment spacing to make sure you fasten to the steel stud structure. Place the clips and girt against the wall and fasten. Ensure the cladding attachments are plumb and properly spaced as you continue to install the fasteners in the remaining clips. Because there's a 22 inch space that separates the girts, we took a 48 inch board, cut it into two separate 22 inch pieces and used the remaining four inches to fit snug between the clips. Make sure I'm going to be tight, I roll it in. It is important that there are no voids or gaps in the insulation in order to maintain thermal barrier continuity. And I'm going to cap it off. You are now ready to install your mechanical insulation attachments and proceed with the cladding. 